Well, hey friends and neighbors, this is Chuck out at Sheraton Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. So y'all know we've got a big group of females that we've been trying to breed so that we can have some piglets. And our breeding has been, well, it's been less than stellar. We should have been having piglets already, but we've not. And quite frankly, we're having a little bit of a difficult time telling who is and who isn't pregnant. So we've had to figure out, we've had to figure out a way to determine pregnancy in pigs. So hang out with us for a little bit. Let's show you how, uh, how we're gonna do that. We'll show you the tools we're gonna use. We're gonna talk about the process um, and how we're gonna do it. This is gonna be hilarious. I just got a feeling this is gonna be funny. But hang out with us for a little bit and let's see if we can determine pregnancy in pigs. Cause we got some going to the butcher. A couple of days, we got a couple going to the processor and we don't wanna take any pregnant girls cause we want those piglets. So hang out with us for a little bit. Let's see if we can get this figured out. Okay, so he, <laughs> I didn't know this was a thing. Um, so I was at a conference for work last week and um, got to talking to a friend of mine who um, he and his dad had a commercial pig operation growing up and we got talking about checking for pregnancy in pigs. And there were a couple ways that they done it. They would walk a boar around because they, had, they were in a commercial house. They would walk a boar around and let him kind of sniff at the gates to where the females were. And if they kind of locked up, you know, went into standing heat, then that was an indication that they weren't pregnant. They also had a Doppler. And <clears throat> when I was working in the hospital, we had Dopplers and we would use that on pregnant females to determine if there was a fetal heartbeat and count the rate and all that kind of stuff. And you can buy those for pigs. I didn't realize it, but you can buy a Doppler for pigs. Those things, I think, Valley Vet, they were about 250 bucks. But anyway, me being the cheapskate I am, I went on to uh, Amazon and you can buy a pig pregnancy test. It's a urine dip, just like you know a, a, a human female would use to determine pregnancy. So found these on Amazon. As you can see, I can't read a stinking thing because it's in Chinese. So I guess this is only good for Chinese pigs. And then on the back, the uh, one line is one hieroglyphic, two lines a different hieroglyphic and no lines is an even different hieroglyphic and I can't read that. So I'm going on knowledge. I'm thinking that one is not pregnant. Two is you are pregnant. The pig is pregnant. Um, so we're going to we're gonna see how this works. We've got a plan. Let's go out to the pasture. We'll show you what our plan is. Um, this is something none of us have ever done. So uh, hilarity may ensue. So hang around with us for a little bit and let's see if we can uh, do some pregnancy check on some pigs. Okay, so the way we're gonna do this is, Jamie's over there, he's got a camera. Sandra has a jar. Show us your jar. And she is go <laughs> she's gonna follow a pig around. It has the number eight on it. Has the number eight on it. So she's gonna follow a pig around and see if she can catch one urinating and collect a sample. And then we will take a can of spray paint that JW's got over there, bright orange spray paint, and we're gonna put the number eight on the pig that Sandra catches the specimen from. We will then test the specimen and determine if that particular pig is pregnant. So just a quick refresher here. We've got our trailer backed up so that we can load up uh, Wednesday night, Thursday morning to go to the processor. We're feeding them up in the trailer, getting everybody used to going in that trailer. And what we're gonna do is when we determine which number of pigs we're gonna take, um, then we will make sure that we get those specific pigs up in the trailer to um, take to the butcher. Again, we don't wanna take anybody that's pregnant. Um, we're gonna try not to take anybody that's pregnant. We've got a couple of girls that we've identified that we would like to take, um, but we're gonna check them and see if they're, this one right here in particular, we'd like to take her, but if she's pregnant, we're gonna keep her. She's just, she's a great big tall girl. <clears throat> so right now it's a waiting game. Wait them out, see who, uh, see who pees first. Kind of like donkey bingo. Y'all ever played donkey bingo? Um, they would take a, a football field and outline it and square it off into numbers. And the first donkey or the, the number that the donkey went in there and pooped on, then that was the winner. Everybody bought a ticket and you won the jackpot and that kind of thing. So kind of like a donkey bingo. She's not in heat. Kind of like donkey bingo out here. So let's see if we can catch somebody going to the going to the bathroom. You need some gloves for this, didn't you? Some rubber gloves? Yeah, it don't really matter, does it? All right. Let's see if we can catch somebody taking a 
Yeah. We've got number two going. That's not what we need to capture. Yes, she may do number one after number two. That's true. As opposed to Peter Pan. Did you get some? Yeah. <laughs> all right. What number is that? Number eight. Okay. Oh. That's all right. I know which one she used. Though. Okay, we got us a sample. So now we're going to grab one of our pregnancy tests here. Got it in the number eight jar. And just, just so y'all know, for friends and family that may come over to eat supper sometime, we will not be using these jars to can any green beans or soup or anything like that. So don't be saying that. People won't come eat with us. So we're... <laughs> she says she'll sterilize them. Okay, so we've got our, our test. So this is our test. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a sample of urine right there in that little circle right there um, so that it will then bleed across the membrane and then it will detect the uh, um, the hormone that we're looking for for the uh, for the pregnancy. Now we don't want to reuse jars um, from one pig to the another because if we do get hormone in the jar and then you catch a sample from someone that's not pregnant we don't want to risk having a contaminated sample. So we're just going to take our little pipette, we'll squeeze it and we'll just pull a little sample up into the uh, into the pipette. If y'all can see that right there. And then we will just put a couple little drops here. And, whoops. So we'll just give it a little time. You know something? I don't have my glasses. I will never be able to read this test. So one of these is going to be the control, and then the other one is going to be the actual test. You know what I may do? I may take one of these and you and just like grab a picture of a screenshot and say we're having a baby. <laughs> so people think that me and you are having a baby. So, okay, I was holding it upside down. I was holding it upside down here. So this looks like we have a line on the control, but we do not have a line on the test. So that is, I don't know how well it's picking up on the camera. We have one line we have one line so we're going to say that that pig is not pregnant I don't that. you don't think so no. all right i'll tell you what let's do let's write okay and let's write the number eight on this and then we'll we'll know which which pig this test belongs to so real quick I want to mention once again coming up on may the 22nd of this year 2022 we're going to be having a pastured pig workshop here at Sheraton Park Farms. This is going to be a full day, all things pigs. We're going to talk about everything from farrowing, piglet selection, feed, fence, water, pig care, cut sheets, marketing, the whole deal, soup to nuts. It's going to be a full day of all things pigs. Half the day we're going to be in the classroom. The other half of the day we're going to be out in the field doing practical stuff. You're going to get your hands on the equipment. We want you to go home with actionable advice, something that you can put to work on your farm from day one. Plus... As a bonus, Troy McClung from Red Tool House, he and his wife Kelly have agreed to come down. They're going to be here for the day. So we're excited to have Troy. He's been in the pig game a lot longer than we have. And so we're really tickled to have him coming down and share his knowledge and his experience with us. We're going to wrap the day up with a really nice farm to table meal. We've hired a chef going to come in and do the cooking. Um, sourced everything from either here on our farm or locally just right here in the area in northwestern North Carolina. It's going to be a great day. So, Pastured Pig Workshop, May 22nd, 2022. Um, if nothing else, we can tell you what not to do because we've made all the mistakes and uh, we'll be glad to share those with you. But anyway, link is in the description down below. We'd love to have you come. We would love for you to come be with us. May 22nd, 2022, Pastured Pig Workshop, right here at Sheraton Park Farms. So they don't waste them. There's somebody. There you go, you go, boy. Daggone, Jamie, you gonna have a drink of it or what? <laughs> now, we've not tested her yet, have we? Okay. There's you a fresh one. And I'll take this one. Man, she's a high output pig. <laughs> All right, let's go see what we got here. That pig is pregnant. Look at there, two lines. That pig's pregnant. 
The first one is not. See, now that makes me think that that big one that she's saying is pregnant. We've got a negative test. Now we've got a positive test. Hey, Lordy. I don't know, man. Unbelievable. Okay, so we've got everybody tested for as many tests as we 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 had. We just we just bought ten tests. Should probably should have bought more. But anyway, so what we found was we're, actually we're, we're about half and half. I've got half that are pregnant and half that are not. And it's it's really these tests are pretty easy, um, other than just chasing the pig around to catch the urine. Uh, they're real simple. So this is a not pregnant test. That's a negative. And then this is a pregnant test. It is pregnant. So let me hold them up here side by side. I can hang on to them and just show you what they're, the difference is. I know I can do this. This is not a very skilled thing to do. <clears throat> so top one, yes, we're pregnant. Bottom one, no, we're not. So we have uh, pigs going out in a couple of days and our criteria primarily was gonna be we don't wanna send pregnant pigs because we really wanna capture those piglets. And I don't, I don't know what's happened on this breeding thing. We had, y'all remember Hamlet? Hamlet was in with these big girls. They should have already farrowed, uh, but none of them ended up pregnant. So Hamlet went away. Um, then we had Tank and Peapocket in, uh, a couple of boars that we had. Not sure whether they were able to do the job or not. And then we went over and got um, two boars from our friend Jamie over at Seven Stands, one that he calls Stumpy. It's a, it's a Berkshire pig. We need to get Stumpy on camera. Berkshire pig, pig's got the biggest head I've ever seen. It's like a tree stump. And then another small red um, Duroc boar. And those guys have been in and we've seen them actively. We saw one of them actively breeding this morning. That will probably be a pig that will go out because we don't, you know, we have no idea if she took or not, but we know that she's not pregnant because she was in standing heat. So that's the criteria to go out. Again, we're trying to make good decisions <clears throat> so that we're not taking pregnant mamas out, but we're taking pigs that have had ample opportunity to be bred and are not bred because then that makes us question their ability to, uh, their ability to conceive. On the breeding side, I don't know what we're gonna do. You know, we've got a lot of folks that are wanting pigs, looking for piglets. Um, we would love to help folks out. I've got a list of about 60, 60 or 65 people looking for pigs. And uh, we're just, we're, we're dropping the ball on breeding. So. I think that's a farmer. I think it's a farmer issue, and I've got to figure that out. But anyway, um, got this group picked out and going to processing. Um, never thought I'd be chasing pigs around. Did you ever think you'd be chasing? I'm, Jamie's behind the camera. You ever thought you'd be chasing pigs, catching pee in a jar? No. No, that's, nope. yeah, this is new to everybody. But anyway, I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, like we always say, may God bless you and your families. Please keep us in your prayers, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.